what's good ladies and gentlemen how y'all doing we are out here we have returned once more into the brink what brink the root beer brink that's why we're out here it, it, look let, let me just start off right off the bat and start by saying this is all spud's fault he brought a root beer imagine that who yeah who brings two root beers from his little trippy trip Actually, I don't even, just from his school adventures. And he brings home root beer and he's like, hey, why don't we uh, do a root beer taste test? And I'm like, who drinks root beer? But then I'm like, you know, I haven't done a stream in like a billion years of tasting anything. Do I still have taste buds? Unfortunately, yes. So that's what we're doing today. Root beer taste test, beer of roots. The man, the myth, the legend himself is actually here because you know i don't do taste tests alone i mean usually i'm alone guys but not today he's here <laughs> you know that was kind of a depressing uh, intro for yeah this time, but i i can I, I can feel that i feel it i feel it you know you and i we can be alone together so then you're not alone actually i lied i have somewhere i have to go um take care <laughs> Uh, you, you should you should make sure you have somebody else with you. Uh, well, you know, the good thing is that I have friends. And the thing is, I'm not still alone. Who needed that guy? He was freaking stupid. But guess who's not stupid? The Spud Man himself. The guy who brought the root beers. He is here as well. Look at the professional guy. Just back. He has a fresh perspective. You're going to have to tilt that camera up because this man's an absolute unit who's too tall. All right. But here's what basically, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start off. We got seven yes, root beers to taste, including some major brands out there. That's right. Not all of them because they only slum in the big gosh dang containers and I ain't drinking soda. Your boy is losing that weight. Trust. All right. So basically... Anybody who knows, I'm going to Cody Rhodes these gosh dang sodas. I'm literally just going to let them what touch my... Mean? It's literally letting them touch your lip and be like, fantastic, outstanding. 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 Yeah, because, you bro... You take like a literal milligram. Like, that's way too much. Yeah, like, dude. So this is literally just like a... Empty, pointless, meaningless calories. Okay, anyways, let's get started, ladies and gentlemen. Do you want to start with a bottle? A can? No, no, give me, give me like the baseline. Give me something that I can like... Kind of have as my standard you know Ooh, standard I, i'm not i'm not sure people don't i'm not sure people know if they, they don't right let's start we don't like root the, beer i don't like root oh beer. yeah <laughs> i don't think he likes root beer i don't know if you like i beer. like a quality root beer from time to time as do i mm -hmm. it has to be craft custom special with love and dedication then okay, i can taste it <laughs> Hey, we don't. That's what we're here to I, test. That's what we're here to right. test. He's biased All right? already. You oh my goodness. That influence your no. Yeah. Also, make sure y'all speak loudly. I just I forgot to say that because we only got one mic because we pour. Wait, <laughs> Real quick what? before oh, we oh, okay. before you open it. Oh, yeah. yeah, before yeah. You open it, it How are we doing the rankings? So okay. We know. So here's what we're doing. First of all, we all got our own special cups because we're special. He got purple because you know why. I, I like got purple. green because he's got, he's got mint green, green mint mint of shine, a and he got orange because orange orange you glad he's here yep. all right I so like this is how we're ranking them basically we are ranking them obviously on taste that's mm -hmm. like that's the main thing yep. out here yep. taste we want to say which one tastes the best but also we are ranking the overall experience as well meaning the opening of said apparatus that liquid is contained within. Meaning the feel and smoothness yep. of the fizziness yep. and drink itself. <laughs> not not the bottle, the drink itself. <laughs> and all a... that deliciousness. So taste and experience. So let's start off with mug root beer. As the first. Careful with it, by the way, Ooh. because Ooh. They, they be shaking. They're not that cold though. They're cool. <laughs> yeah, this dude bought him like an hour ago. They're as cool as I am. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's get a little, 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 little start here. Uh, and we're uh, ranking out of 10. Out of 10, And yes. average is five. Yes. Yeah, middle of the I think that's fair. I think that's fair. You think that's a good amount, like a little shot glass? I mean, yeah, that's more yeah, than enough for me, bro. I'm not lying when I'm saying I'm Cody Roding it. That's not enough. That's, that's not enough. What that's not enough. It's the taste. Nah, 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 n
What do you mean by actively? Like, as, as in, in like, like, ugh, like... As in, like, if, if Spud were to say, I love root beer, I'd be like, you have absolute garbage taste. So, so, so here, here's how I look at things, right? It's like, if something exists, I don't have feelings towards it. I'm just kind of like, okay, it's, yeah, it exists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then when I actively dislike something, it's like, no, That's I know for a fact in my heart, mind, and soul that these that I do not like this and I actively fight against it. No, no, I mean, I don't actively and dislike it. So it. like, if I'm at a party and all they have is root beer mm -hmm. and I'm thirsty, I'm gonna drink the root beer. Okay. But if they have like something else, I'll take something else. I'm going in. Going in. So what the heck is a root beer? Bro, I don't know. You said, you, you so he said he was studying and researching the beer that is from the root. What is it supposed to taste? Camellia's Treaty, oh sister. Dollar. You gotta know, you're like, Brujeria. So like, you know what root <laughs> beer is? <laughs> what what is it? It's one of the root of narcotics that tastes like licorice. Oh, supposed to licorice. Oh. Ah. See, look, it's the root of narcotics drugs. I like drugs. So it's worse than beer. It's drugs. I like drugs. All right, mug. Let's start with the dark justice. What well, what do you say, good sir? I mean, it's the baseline. I haven't had root beer in like. Not gonna lie, like three years, okay. minimum. That's respectful. It wasn't bad. Wait, why am I small amounting of water? I can drink, <laughs> I can drink all the water I want. I mean, it's not it's bad. Just for, it's well, that might have been a guess. No, <laughs> I think you're right. I think right. You I'm, saw, I'm, yeah. I'm, feeling, I'm feeling a little, little tipsy already just from this. You know, a little bit, a little bit of that cocaine. What, whatever. Video. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, that, that's a joke, by the way, Twitch. It's a joke. Yeah, that's um, a joke. But I mean, I haven't had it. In sounds a long right. Time. It, whatever you say about like plants and stuff i'm gonna believe you no matter what i don't care what, what do you give but it? like in middle of the line is fine now i'm gonna do this like on middle of the line for root beer itself yeah. for root beer like i'm not saying like, nothing else nothing no else. this is an isolated test this isn't yeah. about soda this isn't no, 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 about yeah. drinkage this is about root beer i mean this is the first one in middle of the line maybe maybe just That's like it's, it's not bad i mean there's a reason we chose it yeah That's i mean yeah yep. it's like it's not bad yep. But I also don't like the taste in general anyway. <laughs> you see? But it's not oh, bad. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's okay. not bad. Like, okay. like if, I'll keep drinking it. Think if it's there. Yeah, if it's there, like right now, if this is all we had, I'd keep drinking that. First of all, I hate licorice, but I like root beer sometimes. And here's the thing as well. Root beer, since we're doing a taste test, we're, you know, isolating, tasting and all that. But the thing about root beer is if you actually have like a full cup, it's like it changes almost much. because it's too much. It's overwhelming. Like, like even right now, I'm getting a little bit of that. Like I'll, pu I'll push back against that. Mm. Okay. Well, let me give me my rating yeah, you first. Get, you get rating. I'm gonna give it a 5.5. You know, wow, just, okay. just wow. slightly up. Wow. Why? Because it is average. But there was some. I I know there's a debate of it mug versus versus what? whatever. A W. A and W. Yeah. But I don't know. I might be a mug man. But we oh, may find we might find out because. You know, I mean, someone was trying to. Our boy and W is out here, so. Get mugged. Five point five. That's my rating. Oh, yeah. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna have to. I think I'm a little biased by outside factors today, mm. in the sense that today is a root beer day. It's a me. root beer day. There's yeah. some days where I'm like, I do not want root beer. Mm. Today is not one of those days. Lined up nicely. And so I was thinking, you know, just like Dark Justice said, easily a five. Oh. Easily a five. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna have to go with Rob here and say 5.5, 5, man. Mm. There's, there's that something was in there mm. Mm -hmm. that I was like, mm -hmm. I could be a mug it's man. It's the drugs. I could be a mug <laughs> man. It could be the drugs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have, we have beef with A and W. There was a little something. So... We got A and W. <laughs> Shout We're outs for you. Shout out to A and W. Anyway, I think that'll wrap up our mug review. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Literally, in conclusion. <laughs> I mean, eh. All right, let, let's swap not a meet, or do you want to do head to head, the two big no, brands? No, we got to Well, do you want to go head to head right away? Two big brands, I mean, I don't know. Or do you want to save it and then? I don't you know, know what? You know what? Because uh, we have a, we have a good amount of <clears throat> craft beer or craft like root beer. I or whatever, mean, you right? know, yeah, that's fair. Craft root beer. <laughs> 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 if Freudian slip yeah. there. Uh, yeah, let, let's do it. Uh, the reg the A and W one right We're now. We're going right, right into the beef. The beef, baby. Not a sponsor of the restaurants either. Do never, never go to the restaurants. They're they're root beer for a reason. They do, they can't make a whole restaurant. But anyways, they I'm not gonna let that affect. Yeah, I'm not gonna let it affect me. Let's get it. Boy, yo, hey, careful. Different different smell. Goodness me. Why are you squeezing that is so licorice. Hard? That is licorice. Yeah. No. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. I have thoughts. I have big thoughts. 
I have no thoughts. This head empty. I'm gonna say it right off the bat. Bug tastes better than AW. Whoa! I think in the past, AW used to be the go-to. A mug has Ooh. like that extra kick to it. It's a little fuller. I'm not gonna lie. This kind of tastes of water. This tastes of watered down. AW was watered down, which I, 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 I have to taste. I have to taste. I see. am not surprised after a beef we had with AW. Mug, if I had mug at a 5.5, AW, 4. Actually, 3.75. Damn. Score. I, Damn. I, you might be disappointed, bro. Look, nah. I agree with you. What, what kind of foolishness Look, you got to say? I agree that some about mug is fuller. Mm. It's like more complete taste. It's all over the tongue. But you know what? I thought A&W is traditionally that, that root beer that you put in a float. So I feel like mm. it was made with that intention. Because there's some about this one that it is lighter and almost... A little more refreshing. Are we, are we taste testing floats or root beers though? That's true. <laughs> That's, That's true. true. That's true. I'm gonna be honest. I think I do like maybe mug on its own better. Mm -hmm. It is more full. There's some more powerful potent about it, but I do yeah. like the NW. Like it feels a little almost refreshing. This. So I'm gonna have to do mug 5.5 and W5. Like it's not that different. Like in my opinion, like they're they're different. right there still. Is this man right here disappointed you? Oh, just slightly. Uh -oh. I'm gonna disappoint you. I'm gonna disappoint you a little bit more. Uh oh, man. uh oh. Because my taste buds are trash. Uh -oh. I couldn't really taste much of a difference. I'm not gonna lie. I went back and forth. And he's like, "Dang, this is just because <laughs> because I, I tasted this one. I'm like, okay, okay. And I went back to this one to give it another taste. I'm like, All right. And, it, and, then, and then you're talking. You're like, yeah, it's because Muggy's like older. And I was like. <laughs> I feel like A and W might be a bit. Fun. I don't know. Hey. So I went back again. I was like, I think I just confused myself. You right? got lost in the sauce. You got lost I, in I the think sauce it's because I'm too so much lost. Beer. You know, I'm so lost you're in like, the I sauce. I don't know what to do with it. And honestly, water's just is better. Water. You know? water you're literally you're, the ten out of ten choice, water. Bro. And A and W, honestly, I mean, probably just a five again for me. <laughs> Two fives. He is the. You know, so, this is the average man's opinion though. So like, that's good. It's, it's good. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's good to have. So like, I'll take. I'll take one or the other. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I ain't gonna take like this ain't the same as Pepsi and Coke, right? That, yeah, I, that yeah, I choose. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. But this for right now, since I just don't care about root beer in general, I'm trying Bruh. to taste the difference. But I'm like, it's the same to me. And now we're gonna move on to more specialty craft flavors craft right flavors. here. Now we got the big beef out the way, so we moving into the turkey, the lean meats. You know what I mean? I mean, okay. So I don't do know what he means. Do y'all want a can? <laughs> do y'all want a can? Yep. And or a bottle can. first. Let's do cans can? and bottles. Okay. All right. Let's do the, the, the tinnies first. The tinnies. Let's see if this is... Okay, this is... I'm going to do um one of Spuds. <laughs> yeah, oh, so this, this is one of Spuds. He made it himself. Oh, he made it himself. Let me talk about Kill a brew. All right, let me talk about it. Let me talk about it. All right, so... Talk about it. And a caffeine. Uh-oh. All the same things? Caffeine and gluten-free. So this is old fashioned Killabrew. Old fashioned. With the Hall of Fame taste. Mm. Wow, baseball! So, this is a brewing company in Minnesota. Soda! Oh. And. Soda! They partnered with a baseball player named Killabrew. Wait, there's and actually a baseball player named there's baseball Killabrew. Named Killabrew. Killabrew. And you're supposed to drink this at ball game. Oh, we're not at a ball game. We can pretend. <laughs> Look at that, root beer. And guess what? Also, what he's not reading is, wow, that's so cool. It has one, two, three. Has its calories? But yeah, but look at it, all natural. No, never mind. <laughs> but it said caffeine. How much caffeine it got in it? No, it's no. caffeine free. It's caffeine free. It says caffeine. Oh. Bro, oh. this man can't read. I thought it was like caffeine and gluten, guys. You I want can't some, read. You want some extra gluten? Ooh, ooh that's a little crunch. There's a, there's a, there's a little, like, something. I'm actually tasting yes. a little something. That is that is something. I'm actually tasting. That is matter. Kill a brew, more like kill whoever made this. <laughs> like not just, that's like this is horrible. <laughs> I don't know why this is bad. This this it tastes like bubble gum almost. It has like the the too much licorice with not enough fizziness. Now that could be an effect of the long time that it's been there, but like. Nah, bro, <laughs> this is bad. I, I literally prefer the big brands, A&W and Mug, 
more than kill a brew. There's a reason why nobody watches baseball, bro. <laughs> because ain't nobody like. There's a reason why Root Beer had to get a baseball sponsor because nobody cared. And like this is this is this is bad. This is this is horrible. What do you rate it? The root beer smallers at their the what some no. some some miller? No, sa sommeliers. I don't know what the heck that is. Like the wine taster. So oh like yes, yes, yes. Oh, of course, of course, yes. Yeah. Look at me spinning this water. My rating. I was spinning mine and actually smelling. My it. rating is two point five. Oh. Actually, five is average. I forgot. So yeah, five is two. Average. All right. Um, um, are you also gonna be? I, I, you know, I literally got a rinse. Go All right. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I had high hopes when I poured it out, and then That's the problem. I had <laughs> no hope when I took a sip of it. Uh, the Hall of Fame taste, bro. The Hall of Fame must be a dump, bro. The Hall Ain't of fame nobody in there. Bad drinks. Yeah, there's this nobody is like, here, bro. Well, I would nominate this tonight. <laughs> Literally, just what Rob said. I don't know what. There's like no fizziness. <laughs> it's like thick. It's got like some kind of extra like cream in it or something that you would assume would make it better because like it would almost make it like a cream soda or nah, something. No. it was nasty I, it was I, disgusting I, two out of ten yep it's exactly what you guys said there's no there's no fizz which we don't know <laughs> if it's because of traveling yeah, yeah, yeah. right yeah. but I, I don't even think so because you know and yeah it's canned. it's for, it's it's for next canned. year it's yeah. for next year this is march something 2025 I that taste but like i think they're I trying to go switch, for bro, a more like... creamy texture in a way which i didn't mind but also, like, it's not good. Because <laughs> as you said, it's more licorice-y. Like, almost like licorice extract or something. Yeah, it's more like licorice Ooh. extract sort of thing. So, I mean, Ooh. I'm not going to be as harsh as... What would you give it, by the way? Two. Two? You give it a two? I mean, I'll give it, like, a three. The layman. Yeah, yeah exactly. I'll give exactly. it, like, a three now. If you're at a ball know? game... It's, it's not... A Maybe the fact that we're not no, at no, a ball no, game... If you, if, you give me, like... if you give me this, I'll be like, just... Where's the AW, bro? That was the first disappointment of craft sodas right there, y'all. Okay, that is a unfortunate. Come on, what's All right. nice, what's nice? We're sticking with cans. Glass. Right? Another tinny. Oh, I thought, okay, we're going, okay, okay. Let's okay. do all cans. Yeah, another tinny, give me another tinny. Another tinny. Oh, oh, oh Spooker. Spooker. I like this brand. I like this brand. I've never had this. I don't know why you I just copied it. Nope. Guess what? Fire, fire brewed craft soda made with honey. And natural antioxidants. All right. All right. Ready? Oh. Ooh. I, that was more potent. That was more potent, but I think there was less fizz in there. So, if you guys have ever had this brand, which I know you see, have They always have this specific taste in them. And it's kind of like... All you, of them? They all, have, they all have this specific... It was because they're all like the fire brew sort oh. of thing. They all have this like... Backbone taste. All of them do, and I tasted it here. And it's if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Sort of thing, right? And this one, I am enjoying it a bit mm. more. Mm. Right? It does have, I, me personally, with my broken, destroyed taste buds, it seems like it has a little bit more of something. <laughs> a little bit more of something. Um, I would I would drink this one over the other one. Mm. So, it might give it like a six and a half. Okay, okay. Yeah, six and a half. Wow. Okay. But I am biased. I do like this brand. And I haven't had it okay. in like a long time. Okay. So. Well, Weep. in terms of root beer, I am think I'm going to have to jump to a 7.5 on this one. I think this is actually good. It's better than the others. It's the honey, bro. It, it got honey. Not only, and remember, we're taking the whole experience. So is this smooth? The can is gosh dang epic like it's what nightly. the dude it's nightly that looks like something i'd have on my shield or something right. like I guess you give me some warm very colors. very cool so i can't wait for spud to absolutely the honeyness this. the delicious glucose syrup <laughs> the gosh dang <laughs> fire brood that's what you know what it really is it's the glucose fi syrup. fire brood whatever the heck they fired killer brew and brought this guy in because <laughs> this one is good all right, Spud, well, please. Let me take this bot can from you. Oh. Because I'm putting it away. Huh? I'm not gonna huh? lie. Y'all remember in like elementary school, they had those little like Tootsie Pops with the root beer flavor? Yeah. No, that yeah. is yeah, yeah. literally. The brown one? Yep. That I is exactly what. I thought it was what, chocolate. That is exactly what this tastes like. Bad. That made you scared me. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Exactly what this tastes like. And it's not what I'm looking for. Uh, I think the honey was a little strong. Huh? That's what made it great. Well, it, was a little, it was a little too much. I, I don't think I'm a fan of the fire brood. Not a big fan of that. I liked it more. 
than kill a brew because mm. they killed that brew and not, in a, <laughs> not in a good way. Not in a good way. Um, however, hmm. I will say I would rather drink mug. Than huh? Mug. What did I rank mug? Like uh, five. Mug was the first one, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, five point five. No, you six. This is no, no, five point five. You I, both went five. Oh yeah, we both gave. No, 5. you guys 5. both gave it five point yeah, five, and the second one you gave, I think, a five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. five point two five. Bruh. Better than A and W. Worse than mug. We got any more tinnies? We got one last can. Tinny. I'm not British. It's not British. Yeah, but he says ballpark brains. I would rather Glizzy. say. Lizzie. I would rather Glizzy. say ballpark. What the heck is this? Why does that look? This is Lift Bridge. Another spud root beer brought from the state of soda. Did I say non alcoholic? <laughs> 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 and here it is. Soda. 16 fluid ounces of. The can is very nice, actually. Well, this one has more calories than, I... the, uh, than the ballpark one, bro. Yeah, almost like the, the spike, spike, spike or whatever. I like the can. I'm a fan of the old uh, classic vehicles, and we got an uh, old Corvette on there you and know, all, whatever. I'm, I'm already starting to judge Very because nice. that can seems like it's trying to compensate for something. What do you mean, man? What hey, do you the mean? coolest cans have the best flavor. I don't, know. Cans I don't think y'all like brands, liquid death. The best brand. If I remember yeah, correctly, I do not recall. Ready? Here we go. Oh, that's good. That's good. That was a good, like, that like and then, look at that fees. Okay, okay. It, it do be fizzy. It do be fizzy. Hmm. Hmm. I'm ready. I'm gonna hop right into go it. Go ahead. You go first. Lift Bridge has lifted the competition for the root beers today. <laughs> I, first of all, awesome design. Second of all, <laughs> if I had this, and I'm eating like a Juicy Lucy or something, mm. and I had this with it. A Juicy Lucy is a stuffed cheeseburger with the cheese inside of the meat instead of on top, resulting in a melted core of cheese. It is a popular, regional cuisine in Minnesota, particularly in the twin cities of Minneapolis and St. Paul. I would be done with the bottle right now. Popping it back. It's got, it hits you with the flavor right off the bat. Mm. The flavor sticks with you. There's no... What I didn't like about the, the 5.25 one that we just mm -hmm. had, weird aftertaste with, from the, mm -hmm. the, the smoke burnt flavor or whatever. None of that in here. It, it has more flavor, none of that burnt stuff. 7.5 out of 10. All right, Rob. Wow. You're, you're giving faces. You're giving faces. Wow. Interesting analysis, my friend. Um, That's what root beer is supposed to taste like. <laughs> well, you see. <laughs> When I poured into the, I'm gonna recreate the scene. Look, when I poured it into the cup, immediately you smell that it's different. Like it has something else in there. I don't know what's in the ingredients. Yeah, natural Real sugar. sugar. <laughs> natural artificial flavors, caramel oh, color. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, he's trying. Yeah, somebody's bias here. Trying to be like, oh, natural sugar. Mm hmm. Well, you see, weren't you the one that said that? It has a taste that's like way more potent. That's not in a good way. A good root beer has to have some vanilla in it. This is like, it almost tastes like a cleaner. A cleaner? Yes. Like, what, what do you mean a cleaner? Like some chemical <laughs> cleaner. It's too like, I do not know. The second it hit my tongue, I was like, this is not good. What the heck? This is actually, look, I'll give it uh, kudos. The can, very cool. Very cool, Nini, Nini epic, but the experience is okay. But the taste itself, <clears throat> only because of the can, I'm gonna bring it up to a four. Wow, because of the can. Wow, taste alone, 3.5. Maybe, wow, like it is is not my cup well, of tea or my brew. This is obviously cup a classic beer. Rob take. Mm -mm. Let's hear what the layman has nope. to say about it. Why are you taking my cup? <laughs> I need because I need to move it out of the way because me and Spud. Oh my. I think we need to indulge in a little bit more here. You know, I think Garbage. I think the real gentlemen need to speak. Cheers. Cheers. Because this right here, very, very good. Very, very. In a root beer world. terminology. Yeah. Yes, the world of root beer. This is quite nice. If you get that fizz in there, bro, oh, it's, it's nice and creamy. It is. Although the one thing for me that's different for you, maybe even for you, Spud, I can't recall. You say it was like recall. decently strong in flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
For me, I felt like it was a bit more mellow. Oh. This is like the strongest one. For me, I feel like it was a bit mellower. And I like it. Maybe it's because I got a lot of the fizz. You know, right. that's, what, that's what I said. The fizz is good though. The fizz is good. I think um, without the fizz, it's not as good. But once you get that nice fizz in there, it's nice. Enlightened. Yeah. So I gotta give this one a seven. A seven. Oh. I gotta give it. I gotta give it Gosh. above the one that you didn't like, Spruker. Yep. Yep. I gotta give it above. Not a sponsored. A scholar. Wow. Classic Rob. Wow. Cake. No, that one is not good. Get it Can out of my Rob face. We get Rob takes in the not, chat. Not <laughs> Rob takes. Look, that's not my cup of tea. My brew at all. We're going into bottles. bottles. Starting with a little known brand, actually. Jones. Cane Sugar Soda Root Beer Edition. Oh, that's like actually a little known mm -hmm. brand. Yep, it's actually kind of slightly known. Now, since 1996, a small town team of oh. soda enthusiasts have decided to bring themselves to the best cane sugar soda possible this is a without stopping. <laughs> <I've ever seen laughs> Very different, right? Very different. <laughs> you couldn't even keep it in. You couldn't even wait. You said that the other one had right, like bottle. some chemical taste or whatnot. Yeah. This one this is the is one. Chemical taste. This one's, I, I, I'm not defending it. I, I also think it tastes like chemicals and badness, even you though it's cane sugar. Like you take you take a sip of it and you just like it's bad. You, know, you get root beer and then you just get like chemical. chemical. It's bad. But this is the one that's all like cane sugar Ooh. soda. I'm dumping this. this is, I can't. It's bad, guys. It is. But can you tell mine too, please? Yeah. Jones. Appreciate it. <laughs> you let everybody down. Yeah. One. Yeah, I'm giving. I have to give it a one, y'all. That's the fastest. I have you, to give it. We're a not one. making this stream longer than it needs to be. One. That was that was horrible. That was bad. I'm hopping on. This is a one out of ten. Um, I literally felt like I was drinking. When I burped, some came and back. Phosphoric acid, bro. That's all I taste. All right, I, boy, yeah, boilon. <laughs> Boylan, don't let us down. <laughs> Boylan, oh, well, where's it from? Like, where do they? Boylan bottling co. Cane sugar, cane sugar again. We're gonna go. Uh, they, you see, unlike so, the other one where they have their whole history and biography, they literally they don't got nothing. It's just root beer, root beer, root beer. Well, here, also two things we can test out here as well. New York. Oh, New York. Two things we can test out here. This is actually the one that's at our, our, our one of the pizza places that we go with the boys. But uh -huh. it's not root beer. It's usually the grape one. Oh. Everyone's pretty good. Wait. Oh, here. Oh. Okay, I like the little steam. Yeah, I like the steam. The other thing too is that we're gonna test here is, is it just that one that's absolute garbage or is it the addition of cane sugar? Mm. Oh. Cause it's cane sugar as well. Salute a la ultima root beer. Is it actually the last one? It's very different. Very, very different. But it's not immediately revolting like yeah. the last no, one. No, no, you know what? This man's head just went, <laughs> I was like, and now, dude, we, we couldn't hold it. <laughs> you literally couldn't hold it. I couldn't hold it, I was like. <laughs> I'll start this time. I also don't like this one. <laughs> you know, too look, sweet. I like the bottle, very New York, you know, like freaking branded on there and freaking simple, but the taste is not good. It's better than the last one, yes. but it's still like, what's this, like a carpet or something? I don't know. Like, it's, it is not good. I'm going to have to look. Can I even describe it? It almost tastes like, I don't know if he, like, what's the word? Subliminal messaged me. But I feel like I almost taste grape in it. Yeah. You, right? I taste grape. It's 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 a lot sweeter than the other one because there's that there's that Bruh. weird taste because you get root beer and you get like for me at least just strip sugar. I, I'm a, I'm gonna not hate it as much as the last one. I, we all gave the last one a one. I'm gonna give this one a three. Also, this That's is fair. Tuesday. I'm giving it a three. <laughs> so on the bottle here three, it says New York since 1891 wow and they should put add on to the bottle processing joke since 1891 ending hopefully 1891 because it's like <laughs> they should have <laughs> stopped making this what was that bitch it took like 15 seconds to get nothing out <laughs> Like, I know for I a fact, water, in 1891 oh my they, gosh. some dude made this in new york and he had his friend try it, and his friend did not want to tell him the truth. Mm, yep, somebody lied. Somebody <laughs> lied at the beginning. Yeah, and, it's, it's, it's great. And we're suffering Mike? for Because you know it was a mic. It was a mic. It's New York. I mean, I, I'm I'm with I'm with the weave on this one. I like, mean. it's much better than oh, yeah. the I last mean, one. When you taste actual abomination, of course anything's going to be yeah. Yeah, better. That's true. 3.5. 3. 
2.5. When you're drinking this, it's not really root beer. It's not root mm -hmm. beer. It's a Pepsi. Because it's yep. so sweet. Yep. Is what it is, you know? So, I mean, it's not terrible if you mm -hmm. like super sweet. But when we're classifying this in root beer with everything else we've tasted, that's not really a root beer. As I said, yeah. like the other yeah, one was like root beer for point, but I say point three two seven five seconds or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. This one's like the same, except that they both go different. The only one goes pure <laughs> chemical. It goes pure sweet. But it's, 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 just, it's just all sugar. It's, it's a below mid though. It's yeah. Below mid. I'll, actually, I might, be, I might actually go three point five. Three point yeah. five. Three point five. Yeah, because I think three. I think I gave this boy a four. Yeah, go go pull out pull out all the root beers. We're we're since we're. We've tasted yeah. them all now. This is, you know, the weeb. Just, just yeah, pull, pull them all out here. This one we should just throw away. The, yeah, put, <laughs> hide this one in the back, like, this one. behind the big mug and stuff. This one's not bad, but... but it's not I bad. I want to taste this one again just because I want to actually we taste all this, We is. all agree that this one was pretty bad. Yeah. But the real thing is, would you you would rather have this one over... I would, I'd rather yeah. have that one. Than over this one, yeah. right? Same. Yeah. I yeah. believe I gave this one a four. In retrospect. I think I gave this one a four, so I'll give that one a three and a half. This is my favorite for sure. And it, honestly, in retrospect, maybe officially we're not allowed to do it. More. But I would Absolutely. bump this up. I would bump this up to an eight. Wow. I said 7.5, right? Yeah. I, in retrospect, more. I would bump That's this good. one up to an eight. Are y'all going to want to drink this one again? Absolutely not. No? Oh, yeah, because y'all didn't even like it. We're drinking the one that's actually good. Let me get a little so. I, have a I have a different one. This is actual root beer. I think, I think this is actual root beer, y'all. Can we get Rob take in the chat, please? This. Is the best root beer in microwaves opinion mug this whole stream's been brought to you by mug root beer mug enjoyers Spre spectre mug enjoyers yeah Just well you know bit. like i'm getting full right now though we could all i haven't eaten though we could all agree on different things don't we don't but <laughs> so like though we all wait 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 though <laughs> though we all may have our preferences and we all may enjoy different root beers and have different favorites at the end of the day we can all agree that we are mug enjoyers i mean wow he it's i <laughs> it's I. Mm -hmm. i've never had this many shots in my life <laughs>